Ezra Altshuler has been a Chazan or cantor since the age of 13 years, learning his trade from his father Menachem. He studied at the Cantorial Institute of Tel Aviv in 1993, and now Ezra's versatile style spans the spectrum of Jewish music, from Jewish soul to Hasidic, to Jewish contemporary to Chazanut or liturgical songs. Sharing all that he has learned, Ezra has now taken the young prodigy Shmuli Brill under his wing. <laughs> I am a businessman, but really if I look at myself much more carefully, the love of my life is singing. I'm a singer and um, a lot, because of what I've done in my life over the last 25 years, a lot of people call me Chazan, which means cantor, and because one of the loves of my life is singing in shul, um, trying to spiritually uplift people to be able to connect to to God. My main influence in my life was uh, my father. My father was a great singer when he was uh, 16. There was a, a great Italian tenor, I, I forget his name, who came to South Africa and they wanted him to come back to Italy with him. Um, he had the most unbelievable voice. And he used to sing at uh, the Mowbray Hebrew congregation in, um, in Cape Town. And by the time I was 13, I started to, to take over the services and sing. But my father and I come from seven generations of, of singers. Um, happened to, all the others happened to have been rabbis as well, but they led the services in the shul. And it's the greatest inheritance that one can, can get, I think, something that's creative. My dad, he composes music and he can also sing. And my mom sings and my grandmother, she lives in America and she used to sing on the radio. Two years ago, Shmuley had his bar mitzvah at the Sunny Road Shul and people were remarking and we discovered that he had an incredible talent for singing and we came across Ezra Altshula at the Sunny Road Shul and Ezra also remarked about this incredible voice that Shmuley had. And he came up and he sang and when I tell you I literally fell off my chair, it's the truth. It, there was something so special about what I heard and I really thought I'd, I'd like to work with this boy. And what's happened is today Ezra's become his mentor. He's trained him. He's got gigs. He's got performances for him. I am more a mentor of his. And that's the role which I do, but it involves being an agent. It's a role of pointing him in the right direction, of giving him what he needs to be successful at his age to do certain things. In Shul you have what is Chazan, it's a, the person who leads the services. And really what is the Chazan? The Chazan is the link between the congregation and God. And you're trying to be a spiritual link through that singing to uplift the congregation in spirituality to reach a, a, a different level, a different realm, and be able then to connect um, in, in a different way to God. So for a boy of 13, it's very difficult to understand what the role is. And really, you can have the most phenomenal voice, and if it becomes something which is you, just all about you and how well you can sing, You've missed the point, but you, I'll guarantee you that you've also missed the opportunity 
to take the congregation with you into spirituality. That's just the type of thing which I felt I could impart on Shmuley, but for a couple of reasons. There's a word in Yiddish called Adel. He's a very, very Adel boy. He's, he's naturally modest. And that's one of the, one of the, the forerunners, one of the, the foundations for success in, in singing in Shul and being able to facilitate that spiritual upliftment. I get goosebumps when I hear him sing. And I'm extremely proud when people come up to me and say, do you know that he's got an incredible talent and he's so beautiful to listen to. And he's made a big difference in our shul or in our lives or anything like that. So I am a very proud grandfather. He was born in Israel and lived in Israel till four and a half years ago. And he, his accent today is completely South African, but he understands Hebrew perfectly. So when he, he sings the service in shul, He's understanding every single little word. Now that, for anybody who doesn't live in Israel, takes many, many, many years to understand and get that, that, that feeling of, while you sing, understanding every single word. And you could hear that. You could hear that he was, he was interpreting what he was saying and he was connecting in to what he, he, was, he, he was singing. When I sing, um, I often I think of the words and it really, it's, it helps you with the meaning and you can actually feel it sometimes. I felt that this was something that if I could come along and impart something of myself where I could give back. And why did I choose him to mentor? I think I saw a lot of myself in him and I felt that because of the, the musicality, because of the voice, etc., he could, if I gave him help, he could swing it and use it straight away. When I work with Ezra, he teaches me a few things like um, to, to breathe, how to breathe, or to mean what I say and to think about it. And he's got lots of experience and he, if you make a mistake while he's teaching you or rehearsing with you, he's, he's very patient and, yeah, he's understanding. Working with Shmuli, working with a young boy, you have to understand that when one is so good, it's so easy to lose a certain amount of Derek Eretz when you are having this adulation all the time from people. And it's something that I talk to him all the time about, that you have to keep yourself grounded. The way to keep yourself grounded is to, is to understand that this is a gift from God. And I, I told him, I said, you know, there were, there were a couple of years where I couldn't sing. I said, God can take this away from you just like that. So um, I think mentorship falls into the, the, the category of, of Derek Heritz because you are, you know, it, it, it can be very hard giving of yourself, which is your creativity in, 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 in this particular thing, and giving it over to someone else, you know. It's saying, you know what, it's not all about you. It's saying, you know, Life is a cycle. Let's take this, let's recycle it, let's give it to somebody who can also inspire, inspire the world. And Shmuley has an ability to inspire the world. He has, ins and it, and it, he has a potential to be one of the greatest.